fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 6th of August 2023. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your weekend. There's not much time left on the weekend now here in Bangkok. Uh, just a few hours to go. Anyway, always make the most of every day. We only have one life. Don't you think that Mike uh, that uh, Mike Pence is one of the most vile creatures on the planet? <laughs> He's such a slime ball, really. Uh, he, <sighs> you know, I don't can't understand why. Um, you know, when Trump supporters wanted to hang him, and he still couldn't go against Trump. Ooh, my telephone is on. Still couldn't go against Trump and stand up to him. Uh, I know that he, uh, you know, didn't cave and uh, go against the Constitution. That's because he knew that he was. It was obviously illegal to uh, have um, followed Trump's orders uh, on uh, the January the, on January the sixth. But uh, he only did that to protect himself. But he, I mean, he's such a slime ball. He really is. And now he says he has no plans. This is listen to him here has no plans to testify against Donald Trump, but he, he has vowed to obey the law. Uh, in other words, if, if they, it says, if uh, we respond to the call of the law and if it comes, we'll just tell the truth. So what he's saying basically is, oh, I'm not volunteering to be a witness, but, you know, if you call me, I'm going to have to tell the truth. That kind of thing. You know, why can't you just stand up and stand against him? Uh, you've seen it all happen and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, he's such a creep. He really is. And he's such a right wing lunatic as well. Religious lunatic. He's probably closeted gay. Uh, it's, it's quite likely he's one of those homophobes, right? And, you know, we've seen how many times homophobes are closeted gays. And um, what else? Pence said, I've been very concerned about politicization of Justice Department for years. Well, how many years is that? Does that in he goes on to talk about Biden and the Biden family. You know, this is nonsense. Uh, but does that in when you say for years, does that include Bill Barr? Because I think that's where we see extreme politicization of the Justice Department when Bill Barr tried to cover up um, the report that was given, uh, the Mueller report that was given. That's politicization. Anyway. Sorry, America. You're doing crap. Please do better. <laughs> I know you can. I know that you have great people in America, but just terrible politicians. Let's play the Los Angeles Times expert level Sudoku, shall we? We've got fives blocking across here. Let's start like that. Why not? I saw something else. What? Oh, yeah. The other thing I saw was the twos blocking down here like this. And that's going to give me a two there. That's what I spotted whilst berating uh, Mike Pence. Although I think he should be berated every day. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we have fours blocking up like so. We're going to get a four in that square there. Four across here and up there. That means this has to be a four. Right, any other easy ones around? Well, I have spotted a pair. So, okay, what I see is seven blocking across here and up. That means seven is up here, so blocking there, seven blocking here. So we have sevens in these squares here, right? So seven blocking across here and seven blocking across here and four blocking across these two rows. So I have spotted that we have a pair of four and seven there. I don't know if that helps, but it is a seven and four. That means that these squares here must be one and three. Is that going to help? Uh, not a lot. 
one and three, seven and four. Hmm. I don't see how it helps me. Oh, but anyway, we've got two blocking across like this now and two up there. So let's put the two in. So I think that means that this is an eight. But I'm not okay, let me show you my workings. So this is seven and four, right? So one blocks up here. That means one is in one of these two squares here. So this square can't be one, can't be two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine. It is an eight. That's what I thought. Missing numbers down here, 1, 7, and 9. We've got 1 and 9 in this row. That then must be a 7. And 9 blocks this square, so that will be our 9. Then this will be a 1. All right, I'm going to have to look somewhere else now. Okay, we have five blocking uh, this square, sorry, five blocking this square and five blocking this square. So in this column, that's a five, five going up here, five down here, five across there, there's a five. Five this way, that way, up and down. There's the only place a five can go. Then five down here and across these rows will give me the final digit 5 in that location. I see that we have nines here. Hmm. I think I'm going to... Uh, a little bit of highlighting. Now I mentioned ones are up there and there. Uh, th oh, so this is two, three, right? Two, three across here, two, three across here, two, three down there. So that's a pair of two and three in those squares. 
Uh, so, what do we know? Um, one, mm, several places. Six. Mm, uh, seven, that's okay. Seven blocking here and here. So that's our seven. And seven across here and across here will give us seven there. Seven up there means that's a seven. Back again, this was one and two. Was it? No, two and three, sorry. Two and three. Um, so, one, six, eight, nine. And we know the nines are here. Let's just have a look here. So two and three there. So we've got one, uh, four, eight, nine. One, four, eight, nine. Uh, let's go through the digits again. This time let's start with the nines, see what we can do. I'll start going backwards. Is that right? Why am I putting nines there? Oh, wait, let's not do anything. Let's put the three here. <laughs> let's stop that nonsense and get on with the next logical step. Threes. I didn't see the threes there. Okay, threes like so. That's more like it. What are we looking for here? Two and something. So two blocking across there means that's our two. The something we're still looking for is an eight. Okay, missing here is one, six, eight. Okay, missing here is four. So four blocking there. There's our four. And nine will finish here. Uh, so no, I said 9 was in one of these two squares, so I know that's not 9. That is going to be 9. And then 9 across here, across here, that gives me a 9 in that square. 1 blocking this square and this square here. So in that column, that's a 1. 1 blocking across here and across here, there's our 1. two blocking this square and two blocking this square so in that row there's our two two up here two across here and across there means that's two um where else two down here down here and across here this should be the last one yep Six eight missing here, six eight missing there. That's also got to be six or eight. That's got to be six or eight, right? We can follow these, you know, just only two empty spaces. So we can kind of follow that around six eight, six eight, six eight, six eight, like this. Uh, but it doesn't help because I can't find a six or an eight anywhere. So uh, we'll come back to that later, shall we? Um, okay, what's missing from here? We're missing... Ah, we're missing one and six in this row, right? So six has got to be in one of these two squares. Uh, so that means... 
six also a six blocking across here there's the six so that's going to be eight that's going to be six that's going to be eight that's going to be six six across here and six down here gives us six in that square six blocking up here and up here means that that is a six that was a nice little run What are we left with here? One and something. So we've got the one blocking here. So that will be the one and the something down here. Um, a four, I want to say. Missing numbers here are four and eight. And so this is not four or eight. It must be a three. Three blocking up here and across there. There's a three. Three across here, across here, and up there. There's three. The last one, in fact. Nine blocking this square. We need a nine in this row. There's our nine. This will be a one. Uh, one blocking across here puts one up there. One blocking down here gives us the final one there. Missing number here is a six. Six blocking up here means that's a six. Um, not much more to go now. Last number to place here is an eight. Uh, one more number here. As soon as I know what it is, I'll tell you. I think it's a nine. Okay, what's left up here? Four and something. Four and seven. Any help down here? No. Meantime, let's do this. This is a seven. Okay, so seven blocking here. That means that's a seven. And so now the seven blocks up there means that's a seven. That's a four. Four blocking down here. There's our four. This will be an 8. This is an 8 here. 8 blocks across here, giving us an 8 there. Missing number there is a 9. Well, pretty easy game there from the LA Times as their expert level for a Sunday. Bye-bye.